In this study, we will look at a matrix transpose. First, we look at a naive implementation. Navigating to the warp level, we can see two global memory operations. The first shows a good quality read operation. However, the second shows a poor quality write operation. The next version of the algorithm corrects this performance problem by using shared memory. In this case, the global memory transactions are now high quality, but one of the shared memory transactions is not. Investigating the operation further shows that bank conflicts lead to 32 serialized transactions. The final version of the algorithm corrects this performance problem by padding the shared memory. Looking at the operation, which was previously conflicted, now shows good performance. For this study, we look at comparative behavior in Haar wavelet transform. We begin at the grid level, where we see only small variations in performance. Moving to the block level, far more variation is apparent. If more information is desired, we can view the warp visualization for warp number 1, and then warp number 9. The apparent difference between the two stems from warp number 9's inactivity during many of these operations. In this study, we investigate global memory behavior under various CUDA architectures. We begin by filtering shared memory events and non-memory events. Next, we can flip between CUDA 1.0 and CUDA 1.2. Here, instruction number 15 shows no coalescence in CUDA 1.0, but in CUDA 1.2, the hardware is able to combine the memory accesses into a single transaction. For this study, we are looking at shared memory performance on different CUDA architectures using Haar Wavelet Transform. First, we filter non-memory events. We easily switch between different CUDA versions. The first interesting event is Instruction 5. In CUDA 1.0, four serialized transactions are required, while in CUDA 2.0, only two transactions are required. The other interesting event is Instruction 8. In CUDA 1.0, the instruction results in two serialized memory transactions. As a result of the interesting memory access patterns, CUDA 2.0 also results in two serialized memory transactions.